So let's go through this spread. What I'm getting here is um, I'm getting a, a it, it's either love or um, money. And let's talk about the money situation first because I do feel that um, there's definitely like um, there's definitely like either separations or some type of legal issues or some type of like contractual issue regarding a home, regarding a business or a partnership. Okay, so I do feel there is that element of a physical structure being corroded, and um, it's funny Sagittarius got like similar cards as well so i do feel that this is something that um is basically new information coming to light and then you know it, it has like a very very drastic negative or positive drastic drastic impact on the direction that you want to steer your life however what's here right now is um we do have a little bit of a, a suspension a little bit of a limbo energy with the hangman there is a situation here you don't know how to proceed forward with, okay? And I do sense it is causing a little bit of frustration because it hasn't been solved. It's happened in the past. It's still happening now. So you're not really moving on. You're kind of like stuck. And I do feel this stuck energy as um, a major arcana card, it's completely outside of your control. And I do feel that you're stuck mainly of due to financial constraints on your end. So it can be a situation where you divorce somebody, but you both are still living in the same house with the four of wands. You're not in love and you can't really move out because you're financially dependent on another person. It could also be a situation where you're dealing with like something that is kind of annoying, but you can't really throw money at it to make it go away. So for example, um, you might have like... Um, there might be a health issue, for example, okay? There might be a health issue and you're just like, okay, that's a quick fix. Maybe I can just um, throw some money at it and hopefully the doctor will do what I want. Well, actually, it requires a little bit more introspection on your end. It requires a little bit more work and this isn't something that money can solve. This is something that you have to find the peace and the, the inner knowing within yourself in order to move forward and you have to find a way to disengage in a healthy manner so that you're not going to be stuck in the same holding cell or holding pattern in the future. And more than anything, I do feel like on a karmic level, this is just something that you are going to have to deal with. Whatever annoyances, if there have been bugs, if there have been like, you know, um, this is somebody being pushed out of the tower, out of her physical dwelling because of all those insects okay but then if you look at her dress all these butterflies are are pulling her up it's gravity defined but it's um they're pulling her up and they're trying to cushion her fall so you are being helped along the way at least somebody know somebody else is like on your side so you don't have to worry about this and i do feel that this is a situation that is not going to be too problematic because i, I know you can handle it you're a, an earth sign and I, I do have faith that earth signs can pretty much navigate whatever is coming their way because what's in your environment that you're not aware of here we have the temperance card and temperance is all about um um i do feel in this situation it's all about it's almost like that magician card where you have certain things that you can do to alleviate the situation you have like a bomb that you can put on in order to um, in order to like not let things fester you have outlets you have support you have people around you that can actually do it in the traditional test sense of the temperance card what I'm getting here is um, this is a, a situation where it is like um, finding that inner balance within yourself having full reign and control over the broad spectrum of your emotions so that you don't blow things out of proportion okay for those of you who have been dealing with this where it's like the home environment for some reason is really uncomfortable you are actually going to have to find the humor in this situation in order to navigate through and not fly off the handle. For those of you who are dealing with another person, for example, a fire energy, especially like uh, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries, 
we have the page of wands in the reverse position. If you're dealing with like a younger energy, possibly biologically or emotionally a fire sign, and they, you know, they, there might have been like um, offers, offers of either love or offers of work, of offers, something that is being on offer. And as quickly as it's offer, it's as it's quickly rescinded. So you're dealing with a flaky character and it's, it's sort of like your life is somewhat linked in with the other person and you can't really make a move without knowing where the other person, what the other person is going to do. So you're going to have to approach this situation with a little bit of a sense of humor here. Okay. Because it seems to me as if it's, um, the other person might be a little bit flaky. I'm also getting here that, um, you definitely, with this card, you definitely have to make nice. I do sense that, um, you know, like, I feel like Capricorns, you are like, um, what you see is what you get with a lot of Capricorns. There's no pretenses. There's no mind games. There's no, you know, uh, manipulation. Very, very rarely do I encounter like uh, true Capricorns that are manipulative. What you see is pretty much what you get with a Capricorn, especially for those with Venus and Mar and Mars in Capricorn. They're pretty like um, pretty transparent with their motives, with their words, with the way they show affection in general. So you're very, very like honest, sincere, and you portray yourself exactly um, the way that you feel. So I do feel that when it comes to this card, you're going to have to put on a nice face or you're going to have to play nice. You might be, you know, feeling very sad and um, you're going to have to show your happy face or you might be feeling very, very happy, but somebody's mourning, for example. So you have to put on, you know, that sympathetic face. So there's a little bit of an actor that has to come out in you for this, the rest of this month, because you're going to be put in like very extremes type of situation. So it can sway one way or the other. There's very little in between, but I do sense you're going to be able to navigate this situation just fine. Okay. In terms of what's coming in for you, once again, page of wands indicates to me that, um, communication ideas and even like, um, direction it, it's being like muddled and it's being, um, purposely kind of like left very vague. So you're still in a period of suspension. Okay. Um, as for what's coming in the end of the month, though, I do have a, a better sense of direction, but I do feel that. Okay, well, let's let's look at this first and then I'll explain the, the outcome here in terms of your <laughs> this is funny. I'm, I'm getting a lot of threes. I have three of coins, three of ones, three of cups. So I, I'm sensing that um, a lot of you might be a, possibly like in a threesome type of living arrangement where it's, it's like a two bedroom and there's another person just, you know, ca permanently camping out there. It wasn't a, a, a part of your contract, but the other person is just constantly in the picture. So you're not getting a lot of privacy, I, I feel, with this spread. So whatever agreement was like between two people, now all of a sudden there's a third party involved. So it's really, it's really annoying. So a lot of you might be dealing with this, possibly with an, uh, a fire sign. Is what I'm sensing. So we have the three of wands here as the advice. The advice here is expect threes. Expect things to be kind of, um, expect a third party to intervene. So when I'm seeing this cluster here as the outcome, what I'm getting is you have the nine of swords, which is basically sleepless nights. Okay. Not being able to feel like very, um, comfortable, noise free in your homes, being haunted by like thoughts and dreams and possibly being haunted by the other two people. Uh, and I don't mean like a physical haunting, like, you know, ghosts and things like that, but I feel like there might be a lot of like celebrations, a lot of parties going on around your mist and you're, you're not able to sleep. For example, there might be a situation in which a, a work situation for example, if you're looking for like investment opportunities, you found one investor and they're waiting on the, um, they're waiting on the communication from a third party. So I do feel either way for this, 
the rest of this month if you thought there was go only going to be two there's definitely a third party involved in whatever capacity i do sense that third person is like constantly in the picture or you might find that you are the third person and you didn't even anticipate it okay so in a love situation i do sense definitely that um there is i, I do feel like in a love situation there is that other person it can be like a child getting into be in between and um not leaving you you know enough time to spend with your spouse for example it could be a relative that's coming to visit they're staying temporarily but they get in between you know the relationship that you have with whoever it is that you're living with it can also be a love triangle that you automatically find out that oh okay I want you might be the mister or the missus the other person might be the mister or the missus I do feel for a lot of you you might be the mister or the missus if you're dating like a new fire sign and you're wondering to yourself like you know um how could they not tell me or in most extreme cases you're wondering if the other mister or the other person knows about you okay as the third party trying to enter the relationship so I do feel that you're you're basically you're straddling between like the old and the new you're being kept in suspension you're 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 pretty much in limbo and whatever you're doing is pretty much um, the next phase or the next course of action is definitely dependent on upon the actions of another person however what I'm getting here is that you are definitely dwelling on worst case scenarios so just let this energy play out don't bite your nails don't be in a constant state of worry and anxiety because it has a good outcome I, I do feel it does have a good outcome you have three of cups which indicates to me celebration three of coins which indicates to me possibly the other person uh, realizes okay three is a crowd let's go with two but it's going to take them a, a bit longer for them to reach this consensus okay so either way I feel that you're going to be well protected because what's external to you is the nine of coins which is um, freedom from worry this is basically you're flying over you're you're having the time of your life flying over the situation and money is growing on trees so you know financially you're going to be in a good place so just um don't cycle through worst case scenarios don't worry about it because i do feel you are going to be protected okay so capricorns have a very good rest of september and um i do feel honestly i tend to make capricorn videos quite short because the energy is very straightforward and i I feel as if, you know, whatever life throws at you, I never have to worry about Capricorn not being able to navigate the nuances of life because you are very straightforward. You're very just, um, you know, cut and dry. So I do feel you're not going to have trouble with things that are happening in your midst. So that's just like, that's why a lot of the Capricorn videos have been short. Okay, so I hope this makes sense to you. If you'd like it longer, just let me know and I, I'd be more than happy to do that. But um, that way you understand where I'm coming from because uh, I, I have quite a few Capricorn friends and no matter what, you know, they're, they're able to navigate the situation. They never ask for advice. They're able to get through this on their own. I do sense then um, you, you also choose very good relationship partners and good friends in general. So I never have to worry.